Hi, my name is Ashley Sircone, and I am a recent graduate of the University of Buffalo in Buffalo, New York. My doctorate is in anthropology, and I am an anthropological archaeologist with a specialization in ceramic analysis and the prehistoric Mediterranean. I'm also a professional potter. My postdoctoral projects and subsequent manuscripts tentatively titled Pottery Traditions in Inland Western Anatolia, a Petrographical, Chemical, and Mineralogical Study of Early Bronze Age Ceramics from Eskishir, Petrographically, Mineralogically, and Chemically, analyzes ceramic samples from archaeological sites in inland Western Anatolia to diachronically examine ceramic production from the late Chalcolithic to the transition to the Middle Bronze Age or late Early Bronze Age III. The majority of archaeological research in prehistoric Anatolia has relied upon comparing pottery styles to identify these ancient trade routes and their influences through the movement of ceramics. This methodology was even used to create the predominant hypotheses regarding trade during this period, which are the Great Caravan Route and the Anatolian Trade Network. These hypothesized routes assert that Anatolia was connected to and even facilitated trade and communication between the Aegean and Mesopotamia. However, my doctoral project was amongst the first to approach the question of trade, and in particular, the presence of foreign or non-local ceramics. Results from my research found that the community at Coloba predominantly produced their own ceramics using local resources, including emulations of famous ceramic styles like the Depos vessel A2 Trojan platter, tankard, and goblet, rather than importing ceramics from faraway distances, as suggested by previous hypotheses. For my project, I'll be using archaeological ceramics from the province of Eskishir, which are currently housed at Bilajik Shea Abidal University. Several surveys have been conducted by the current and emeritus faculty of Bilajik Shea Abidal University, including Dr. Tarana Fay from 1988, to 1995, Dr. Denis Sare from 2016 to 2020, Dr. Hussein Arpinlavin from 2022 to present, and Dr. Erkan Fiden from 2017 to present. Similar to my PhD project, I'll be using a multi-method approach, meaning I'll be applying various analyses to examine the ceramic samples. These methods will begin from the largest to the smallest beginning with macroscopic analysis and ending with X-ray diffraction. First, macroscopic analysis involves carefully sanding a slice of ceramic and using a stereoscopic microscope to document the visible minerals, voids, and their alignments. Next, thin section petrography or microscopic analysis entails cutting a piece of the ceramic and gluing it to a glass slide which is carefully sanded down very finely. The thin section is subsequently analyzed under a polarized microscope and notes are taken down about the minerals, voids, and their alignments. Next, a few grams of each ceramic will be removed and then crushed and powdered. Third, a portion of each ceramic or powder will be analyzed using ICPMS, which identifies the rare earth elements. Fourth and finally, the remaining portion of each powder will be examined using XRD, which recognizes the minerals in each sample. By applying these four methods, I'll be able to retrace how the ceramics were produced from the extraction of raw resources like clay, rocks, and grass to the final firing and its firing temperature, determine the geologic provenience of the ceramics, and overall discuss the presence or lack of networks of communication in Eskishir during this time period. Overall, this project will have several broader impacts. First, while there has been a number of surveys conducted in Eskishir, ceramic production has just started to be understood at one archaeological site, Kloba, and beyond that, it is poorly understood. This project will provide a much needed close examination of the region and compare it to the site of Kloba. By doing so, I'll be able to determine if more communities than just Coloba were predominantly producing ceramics on their own, including local emulations rather than importing ceramics from other areas and regions. Second, 
During my PhD, I created a geologic database using Survey123 made by Esri. As this database grows, we can better understand the resources that were available to the communities in the past. Data from this postdoctoral project will be added to this database, which other researchers can access and compare their samples to. Third, it will contribute to the digital preservation of the survey material from this region, as this previous research was exclusively documented on paper.